folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envo Extreme here. Here we're looking at all the new mods to drop today on the 22nd of October 2024. As always, time times be down below, and if you're going to enjoy this mod for you, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more weekly Farm Simulator 22 videos and more FS25 videos when that comes out in November. So, we've got a bank section of new mods today, we've got 11 new mods we'll be looking at. However, we're going to be looking at one update because I thought this was very interesting and this is an update to the Euro Production Pack, formerly known as the Farm Production Pack for that DMI controversial DLC. This is by Mrs. Omotana, it's 46.44 megabytes to download and we're looking at Changelog 1.1 and Changelog is as following. Multilingual names for the production chains, hard cycles for potatoes, corresponding flour and hard potato yield. So, the potatoes are more effective in the productions now, which is good to see. Also now you can get flour from corn and sorghum. Fabric and clothes production has been added, as well as new baked goods for rolls, baguettes and muffins. And we've got a couple of these pallets here already spawned up, so what I'm going to do is... First of all, make sure no more of these pallets spawn. So we got... Okay, I can't tell what we've got. We've got baguettes. And yeah, again, I can't tell, so we move that one. And bread rolls. Obviously these pallets are listable because I've got the listable pallets mod. Maybe, yeah, they may be fine as they are without the listable pallets mod. But yeah, so we got three of the new products, so have a little look. So you got nice little muffins, a mixture of chocolate chip and normal muffins. Bread rolls, they do look actually very nice. And then our selection of bread rolls, so there's a tiger bread snack. And so you know, like you know, like hot dog, not hot dog rolls, but rolls here in the UK that I was using that quite often. Usually the ones that require like, heated in the oven and that. So I was going to have a look. So in terms of capacities, it is 10,000 liters, as it normally is for most of these products and that. So looking at the sorghum flour, so that is a 15 to 16. So you get a net gain in flour for your sorghum and corn. You get corn flour. But also you do get some pig food, so if you want a cheap source of pig food, then by all means use this, because that is actually quite good. And then yeah, so rolls, baguettes and muffins. So muffins, I have not used one that requires honey. Just because I've had, I quickly get things all set up, I didn't have any honey pallets in storage, so... I didn't bother setting up honey that with the bees and that, so... Obviously it's 833 or 844. 360 cycles per month and you get 40 muffins out per cycle so that is what 3600 almost 5000 is about 5000 years a month so yeah not too bad again this kind of production is a slow production so I can overpower it over the top production for your bread rolls it requires flour and a little bit of water and that you get your bread roll so a technically it's a 12 to a 1 ratio but look at the cost of flour and that and bread rolls see if it's worth doing in that from a financial aspect and this is the same for the baguettes and then that's the yeah fabric and clothes production so again i didn't bother with the walnuts but again the capacities are pretty much the same 10,000 years for your output for your input, so cotton is about 50,000 litres. Obviously the inputs can be bigger than the output. Next one, see, I did get a few things set up in that, you know, just by accident. So, fire capacity is 10,000 litres. Water, ignore that, that's because I got the automatic plumbing hoses. Potatoes, oh yeah, so potatoes will have a lookout as well. So, for potatoes, you can use that to get, okay, not popcorn. And that's it, french fries and cream potatoes. So, for yeah, for your normal French fries, it's a 20 to 16 ratio. But if you want some washed potato, so that is 20 liters of potatoes and water. And from that, you get 16 liters of premium potatoes. And again, a little bit of pig food in that. So if you don't want to bother with pig food productions, now I do have a pig food production mod, even though it says there's a side in that. But yeah, pig food production mod, we're going to be looking at in a bit. But yeah, that's actually quite good, especially to recipe ratios and that. Again, just sweet potatoes to the, uh, what's it, pig food, 20 to 8. That on its own, yeah, it's a bit worn out, but water is cheap in that. Plenty of mods can be found useful for that. So yeah, I've not added the sell points for the Europe production pack by Umatana. But I think if you go down, so these should be accepted by the sell everything container. So yeah, so, so every container will take all these products and that, so... Bread rolls, baguettes, and muffins. So actually, yeah, we're looking at 
around about four and a half to five thousand. So actually, overall, that ain't too bad, especially when compared to flour. Because yeah, if we look at the price of flour, that is only just worth about yeah two thousand. Now we're at its peak price at the moment. So, is it worth doing bread rolls and baguettes? Just those on their own? Definitely get crack on that straight away. Oh yeah, potatoes and that, premium potatoes, they are worth their weight in potatoes and that. Even muffins and that, 7,600. Now we're at the low end, we actually up to 8,800. They yeah, also just want to check, yeah, we're on easy economy, so if we go on to normal economy, so prices do not quite half, so 4,500. But yeah, even then, still worth doing these new productions and that. And yeah, also yeah, liftable pallet snacks. Again, that may be because of the liftable pallet mods I got, but yeah, actually I'm not sure because of how it's all scripted in that. But anyways, that is an update, and I thought worth going over because it is a unique thing. Also, by a theme by Mrs. Omatona, I like to cover anyways because she's an awesome modder in that and has definitely transformed this game, and I cannot wait to what she does in FS25. But anyways, that is your production pack by Omatana. Now head on to our new mods for today. Now for our new mods, first of all we're looking at the German Barn Pack. This is by Dominic Witzel, 4.20 megabytes to download, nice, 420. And slot counts are 4, 3, 5 and 4. This is a pack of 4 shed, so we got a barn with shawl store, a barn with gates, open barn, and a barn for the farm shop, weirdly. I say weirdly because there's nothing that instantly indicates a farm shop. I think, yeah, this is the farm shop here one, so that is five slots, so I guess that makes sense in that, but yeah, really has to no interior in that, so farm shop. Again, there's plain mods that you can use to create your own cell points within the buildings and that. Possibly, but yeah, so overall, nicely done. Nicely done during buildings. Love the animations in that. So yeah, you can use each of those sort of pallets, bells and that if you want to, or to sort your own equipment. And also, yeah, placeable ladders against the wall or in front. So if you climb up here, you know, you've got a nice little loft area up here, so you can obviously put bells up here in that if you wish. Also, yeah, didn't notice there is a drop hatch in that, so actually if I go back up in that, so yeah, I jumped up to get up there, so... Oh yeah, actually it is a hatch, so yeah, open the hatch. Not too bad, not too bad. And yes, it's barn with gates, straw door net. So yeah, he, there we go. But anyway, so go into build mode. So first of all, you find these under build mode, under shed, so... Yeah, obviously, yeah, the farm shop one, okay, fair enough, makes sense. But it's just this barn, barn, and barn. Nothing about barn with gates. Um, I guess, yeah, this is the open barn here. That is the barn with gates and barn with straw store. So I'm guessing that's this one here, but it doesn't really make it too clear, especially apart from the open one. That is 15 grand. All the others are 20 grand each. There is no color options or anything like that. But anyways, nice little cracking mod. Again, it's well done. Small megabytes size of 4.2 megabytes, 420. Nice. But anyway, so that is actually no, sorry. Just looked at my notes and yeah, bar machine sort says capacity for 150,000 liter. So that is this one over here. Again, I totally apologize for not covering this. So. There's no like side or anything, so actually let me grab some bells and loose straw sec. Ah no 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 I get I completely forgot. Do apologize, usually I get everything covered straight away and get anything tested, but there we go, five slots for the barn with straw storage, so I was gonna free place it like that, so I'm guessing straw goes in and straw goes out, so Let's get some bells now. So right, yeah, you do need the straw. That's why. Icons! Fuck's sake. <laughs> there we go. That makes sense. Now, so... OK, 
Okay, that's, that's does that. But now, does it do bells? I'm not sure, I love the animation of it being shooted up and that. And yeah, before we have a look at what it's like in storage and that. How I got these icons mixed up, I do not know. It looked like a tipping icon. But no, that was a fill icon. I guarantee everyone's been shouting about it, so I do apologise and I possibly it will edit, yeah, edit the bit out or at least make it very brief and that. But yeah, so now sure bells. So okay. And the answer to that is no. So yeah. Do you need to do straw? Fair enough. Move those out of the way. But yeah, so I got this for bells and that, so yeah, you definitely do need obviously uh what's it? Loose straw net. But if we have a look. Actually it does look not too bad actually, and then yeah, so obviously you take it out of here and that. And one last thing, and I'm gonna go over the farm shop and that it says again looked in the mod script, it says to the bottom is suitable in the way that you can place a farm shop in the building with the help of the free mode in that. But there's nothing about a cell point in that. There's no cell point available in that. I've popped down the cell every container by Schultz mod in that. I don't know. I, to be fair, I'm not a fan of it because it's a fake, sh fake cell point in that, so you need another mod in that. Cause yeah, that's the yeah, that's from the uh what's it so everything container in that. Yes, I haven't placed it correctly in that, but yeah, that was just a quick brief in that. So overall good quality sheds. I do like the farm shop idea, yeah, it doesn't flow me. The straw storage, yeah, that's I do like in that, especially now I know how to use it properly. I bet you know just to follow up that ladder so it ain't the way, so you can just come in here and store your bells in that or pallets or vehicles and that if you want to under here. But anyways, that is German Barn Pack by Dominic Witzel. Next. Now for the pig food silo. This is by Bauer Hopema. It is 3.37 megabytes download and yeah it says it's a silo. But this is all essentially a production at so if we have a look, so yeah pig food silo Basically, it's a pig food production from corn, wheat, or sugar beet as the main product. And then from that, so the corn pig food requires additionally wheat, soybeans, and potatoes. And it is all a one to one ratio, so at least you're not losing out. The wheat is wheat, barley, canola, and potatoes. And sugar beet is sugar beet, corn, soybeans, and barley. So, overall, not too bad. 60 grand. Capacity is 615,000 liters. That's for input and output, as you see here. But also, interestingly, look at that cycles per month. 600,000 was that? No, sorry, that's 60,000 cycles per month. And with a 1,000 to 1,000 ratio net, so that means you can get potentially 60 million liters of pig food a month. Potentially, if you keep everything up and you do have that many pigs, Christ, not even 10,000 cows would be that amount a month, and that. Saying that, if it was a TMR production like this, I would definitely be up for that, because I think yeah, most TMR production mods we've got at the moment don't go up to barely over a million or two a month, let alone 600, yeah, 60,000 plus, or times a thousand, yeah, that's 60 mil, so. If you get a TMR production of this, please, that would be absolutely beautiful. But anyway, so, first of all, we'll find this under build modes. It's under silos, I think it was, was it? Yeah, silos at 60 grand. No colour options or anything, but yeah, see? Input and output in there, so... Does need to be categorised as a production, not a silo. Again, I'm being a bit picky, but... I'll get the general concept of it, so obviously it only takes all the items required for the pig food. So we'll see here, dumping down 250,000 litres of wheat. That is shooting up there on the bottom right. And there we go, that is empty. And now for the wheat, we're at 525,000 litres, so yeah, it's a 1 to 1 ratio in terms of input and output. And I've got to say, it's a nice production now, and 
the fact you've got unique recipes and that, so, for example, you don't have to do potatoes and sugar beet as a base now, you can do them separately if you want to. And if you've got a lot of sugar beets as like a root crop base, then yeah, feel free to use that. Or if you've got a lot of grains in that, especially the wheat and barley, that's very easy to do, canola's easy to do and harvest. And all you need to do is potatoes, which is basically two different pieces of equipment, a sugar, uh, not sugar beet, a uh, potato harvester and a normal grain harvester net. The corn, you need the grains, potatoes, and then the corn header. Sugar beet requires, yeah, three, so sugar beet harvester, um, corn and sunflower header, and a grain header in that, so... Feels me, I would go more of the wheat based than that, but again, that's just me and that, and maybe not as realistic. But yeah, that is a nice production that. But anyways, that is the pig food slider by Bauer Hopema, Hopema, not sure. Next. On to our final place for we got the BHG. This is by Hell Rivers or Hell Rivser. This is 9.44 megabytes of download, and this is a sell point for wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, grapes, olives, sunflower, soybeans, maize, potatoes, sugar beet, cotton, sugar cane seeds, eggs, wool, fertilizer, and lime. Buying seeds, fertilizer, mineral feeds, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, pig food, potatoes, and chicken feeds. For that is in your wheat. And all this can be found under construction menu, under productions and sell points, and sell stations. So, we have a look here. So yeah, we got a buy point here, and a sell point. And you find this under buildings, under, sorry, productions and sell points. And there we go. Go. I think we just went past it. Nope. BHG. There it is over there. For <laughs> seventeen and a half grand. Obviously, no terms with, you know, what you can change colours or anything. But that is to be expected. So let's hop into our trailer over here. So yeah, we can buy fertilizer seeds, mineral feed, fertilizer. Yeah, herbicide, pig food, lime, potatoes, and wheat. So that is your chicken feed and that. Obviously, you can purchase the wheat and that, so... I'll see how much these cost and that, so... Oh, you not me to help hit that. I mean, to open the help menu, so... There we go. One litre, so... I have to look at the price. Actually, 890 quid for 3,000 litres of wheat. That ain't too bad. Seeds, just a f yeah, 900 quid for just over a thousand years. Fertilizer, uh, 1700. So yeah, that's about more of a normal price. Lime, that's definitely cheaper than base game. But yeah, even the mirror feed, how much is that? I'm interested. So 4,000 years. That is four grand, so yeah, a grand for a grand almost, or give or take. So overall, it's actually not too bad. And fill rates, okay, not the fastest of fill points. Actually, I'm not sure. Actually, is that fast or I'm not sure exactly, especially with the multi fruit size. Now, I'm not too sure, but it's going up at a decent rate, you no? Know? And pig food, how much is that? Quickly. So yeah, overall, not too bad. Actually, if I put, oh, just, yeah, yeah, just went over the five percent mark. So, what I do quickly is, if I get rid of some of this, because yeah, this could be a nice little exploit potentially. Net. If I just dump some pig food in there, and yeah, even that from the pig food alone, sort of see how this gets exploited very quickly. So, let's fill this up with wheat. So right, that is 250,000 litres of wheat and yeah, for 75 grand. Again, we're on normal economy, so this is normal for a lot of people in that, or if it's FS90 mode, this would have been hard economy in that. And yeah, I know for a fact we're going to get a lot more money than 75 grand. 184 grand, so even on hard economy that would have been halved almost, so yeah, even on hard mode, you can get wheat for free. Again, I thought just you know, a little quick mention that, little cheeky exploit you could potentially have. But anyways, that is BHD by Held Rivers or Hell 
Helor Visor, Hell Visor, not sure how to pronounce that, do you apologise? But yeah, that is all of it of our placeables and productions that we'll be looking at. Now on to our equipment. First of all, we're going to be looking at the K700 Sliding Shield Own Construction. This is by Derobi66 and Osblock Gaming. 4.99 megabytes to download. Slot count is free, goes down to 1. And yeah, this is a 4.2 meter leveler. And you can find this under Tools, under Levelers. And it is 3450, weighs 630 kilograms. Mm -hmm. Comes John Deere as a base colour. As soon as you start adding other colours, it goes up by a hundred bucks, pounds, euros, whatever you want to use. But overall, it's not too bad in that. So, hop into a John Deere here, make sure there's no other controls we can use. Hook it up. So, first of all, you've got raise at lower the leveler. So, that's how it is when it's lowered. However, if you press L1, right stick up and down, you can raise and lower it. So, that is the lows it will go, so between the highs and low, you can adjust it manually if you want to. And then L1, right stick left to right, you can tilt and pivot the actual blade itself. No other adjustments can be made, so this is fully lowered. And yeah, so we've got a bunk silo here, so I'm actually getting all of it, so there we go. If you, if you pivot, tilt it down, then you can. There we go. So yeah, actually, overall's not too bad, especially as John Deere 8R and that. I think this is, yeah, 458 horsepower, so this is pretty powerful, but for, you know, a 4.2 meter kind of lever and that. Well, it is a lever, not a kind of a lever, it is a lever. You need something like powerful station here for, especially these kind of large bucket silos where you got 1.7 millimeters of chaff, or just in general. But yeah, overall we did lose a bit, so if I reverse out, yeah, we do get back, it's just a lot of it is already being collected by the leveler. So yeah, again, lower it, make sure it's pivoted it down, then that'll push it. And then if you pivot it upwards, Nat, this will help getting it up the embankments, Nat, so actually this is pretty neat, Nat. Again, I know it's a lever, Nat, it's not a lever I commonly use, Nat. That actually, it does the job very well. It pushes everything back, Nat. What about this all awkward lumpy section over here, Nat? So, again, lower it down. Tilt it down to get it pushing. Okay, actually, we need to clear the end bit. There we go. So, yeah, it actually is doing a good job at leveling it and pushing it back. Again, yes, we've got a lot of horsepower behind us, but... It actually does its job very well, so before that was a real lumpy and bumpy section. Now it's a bit less lumpy and bumpy, so overall cracking on that. The one I do recommend, it does actually work on that. Performs very well. Again, the sort of thing I am demonstrating it right now. I am not the best out when it comes to the other silos and that, so that is actually a very good job well done, so yeah, definitely recommend this. But anyways, that is the K700 Slowly Shield Own Construction by Del Roby66 and Osplot Gaming. Next. Next we got the Plow MF. This is by Macaroon. Macaroon FS. 3.4 megabytes to download and what it is, it's a 1.7 or a 2 meter plow. Slot count is 2, goes down to 1. But anyways, you'll find this under tools, under plows. Go towards the end. Three and a half grand requires 70 horsepower, weighs 790 kilograms, and does it at six miles an hour. But yeah, so work with a standard, so you got your four fur plows. And add the additional one, you get to two meters. Colour options. Yeah, this will need an update because there is one or two issues. So one of them is missing grey in L10N-EN.XML, so yeah, that's going to need a XML update in that. But yeah, if you want to go with your other normal colours, that will add an additional hundreds. But yeah, for that extra 0.3 meter, it does cost an extra 500 bucks. Again, maybe a factor in that if you're especially doing small scale farming. But yeah, so I got the 1.7, this is a 2 meter one, so in theory, these should work the same, but I'm going to test them 
both because I know for a fact this does have a issue with the comes to worker so again first of all drop down we are plowing and so see does a good job in that you know does a job at plowing and if I want to create my own field so create field see so yeah, overall not a problem so far however there is a worker issue with this so if I was getting onto a section that so let's say I'm plowing or oh, I need to do something else on the farm alright fine let's select a worker so yeah at the moment it's not a problem thus far once we get to the end you see, see here worker D has completed a task so I think there's an issue where it doesn't like to do uh, what's it doesn't like to get to the end of the field so again that is a bit weird so let's say if I should do a couple of headland sections so yeah again probably not the best jobs like this so I'll do two headlands in that at least so yeah, I was going over extra bits here already in that but yeah let's create that second headland bit I'm sorry there for the hiccups so yeah, overall not too bad. I just need to get this little strip over here that I forgot. Because yeah, I'm using the 1.7 meter one, not the 2 meter one. There we go. So now, I think if we go back onto the worker net, since we've already done a headland, it shouldn't have an issue when it gets to the end. So drop it down, let the worker take over in that. So I'm not touching it. See, worker mode is enabled. And once you get to the end, ah, all right. So I thought it liked doing headlands that, or if you did a headland, the worker then will be fine with it. But apparently not. So yeah, regardless of whether or not it did, works with a headland or not, this does and will need an update. Not just because of the miss XML. Okay, all right. This time, <laughs> see. Oh. Yeah, so now, okay, I did the headland before, didn't like it. Now, likes it, so, yeah, it does have work issues, but overall, as the mod itself, if you're doing this manually in that, no problem. Cheap in that, nice animations, has custom colors that to suit your own brands, or however you want to decorate your farm in that. But yeah, it does need an update because of that work issue that, and that Mr. XML grave file. You know, clearly as a yellow net. But anyway, is that is the plow MFS by Macarono FS next. Now for the Herculano Cisterna. This is by FSPT. Yeah, I think it's Cisterna. Cis Cisterna, that's how I'm pronouncing it. So I do apologize if it's wrong. But anyway, this is 5.31 megabytes of download and. What we've got here for you today, folks, is a water bowser trailer. So, first of all, you find this under tools, under animals, go towards the end, and as you can see, nine and a half grand. Nice to see a new brand, or actually, no, I think we saw a Hercule brand very recently, and also I think it was by, was it by FSPT? No, it wasn't, but I can't remember who it was by. But yeah, no, actually, no, get me wrong, FSPT has done other. Her Kalani mods back as early as March 2023, so ignore me there. Yeah, so I've not seen that brand, at least very recently in that. But anyway, so 9.5 grand weighs 1.3 tons. Slot count is 2 or 3 goes down to 1. I just literally lost my note for that bit there, so I do apologize. But yeah, it's like 2 or 3 slots, goes down to 1. 9.5 grand, and yeah, so wheels, you got standard, wide for your trailer board. British lines, wise, BKT whites, and then back to trailer board, whites or standards. But anyways, first of all that, close up in that. Nicely done that. It's got that sort of stainless steel kind of looking at. Oz you got your valve there on the back. Oz yeah, it's got nice uh what's the word for it? The reflector bumper things there on the back. But anyway, so hop into our John Deere 8R. 
get you hooked up. So yeah, this is a powerful tractor net. Yeah, it overall does the job. Yeah, it does have the handling effects ever so slightly, but as we also expect from something that's got a realistic weight to it. But yeah, so we'll see if we can disperse it so our paper water doesn't have it. But what does have or accepts water is our cell point net, so just want to double check and make sure the trigger net is all good. And actually the trigger came up very quickly. Obviously emptying it does take about 10 seconds or so to empty. Or if anything, maybe slightly more than that, but again for a small bowels or that, something that's realistic, you kind of expect it. Now again, I think I'll be instantly emptying. And then if we fill up, oh, okay, actually went out there. So yeah, it can potentially fill up very quickly, it's just emptying it is a bit of a slow rate, so let's do a quick count here, so 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, about 2.5 seconds per 1,000 litres, times that by 7, so yeah, actually it's about 15 seconds to empty, not 10 seconds. I stand correct on that. But anyways, again, my details there, will that put you off? It doesn't put me off on that, so I feel like there's a small bowels on that. Main productions and greenhouses and all that, those require a lot of water on that. But anyways, that is a Herculano Cisterna by FSPT. Next. And now for the Meprazot PN160, this is by JMZ. 27.09 megapoints of download, and what we've got here is a Surrey tank or Surrey distributor net. This comes with, with or without a 3.8 heat on the back, so you can sort of see, I've got something set up over here, so, because yeah, I want to test both of these now, especially for workers and that. But anyways, first of all, you find it's under tools, under Surrey tanks, go towards the end, Base price is 44500 for the PN160 with the 3-point attacher that goes up by just over 5 grand to 49800 5.6 tons each net, 60,000 year capacity, working width of 40 miles an hour and at 9 miles an hour, so overall not too bad. Configurations for these are exactly the same, so for wheel bearings we've got Treadboard, Standard and Standard 2s. Whites, Michelin Standard 2s, Whites, BKT, Whites, Whites 2, first lines. So, yeah, you want chunk your tyres? I think, yeah, the Whites is the way to go. For BKTs, I'll go for the BKT 4s. Yeah, especially it's got a bit more of a knobby or that to it. But you can sort of see, you know, there's it's a lot of options and it means to go out there. So yeah, pivot pipe, no or yes. So yeah, you can then use this to empty it into another sorry tanker or something like that if you want to. Or put it into a sorry pit as well. I think it's more of a realistic thing rather than the functionality. Ladders, no or yes. So that's going to be on the side. Yeah, on the left hand side. Fenders, no or yes. So technically you already got some kind of fenders. But yeah, it's just the actual down little flaps there. On the front, sticker, you've got new, old, or none. Main color is going to be your Bowser tank. Additional colors, that's going to be the chassis of that. So if I put that back to blue, so there's the chassis, does a bit on the top of that, and then a few bits on site. Fenders, got different grays and blacks. Then also you got your pump colour, so we'll go with a blue. So that's going to change the pump at the front. Rim colour does rim, so you've got your grey, black and then your blue. But yeah, regardless, the actual hub itself is going to be blue throughout wherever you choose that. So yeah, I got it all set up over here, so not you. Once again, hop into your John Deere ATAR, so... First of all, we'll hop into the one that doesn't have the three-point attacher in that. So, see, we've got 60,000 years or just under it of Surrey. So, you've got double application rate, turn on tanker, then R1, right stick left to right. It's making some hissing sounds, but for that one, I can't see what it is. 
L1. L1 breaks it up and down. Again, I'm not sure what it's adjusting that. So it's not doing anything there. It's not doing anything on the top now. Again, it's making that like, kind of like hydraulic that shifting sounds. Let's do something in the cab. So yeah, what I think it is, so if he hooked up to this one first of all, then yeah, so it does ask what it's for, so L1 right stick up and down, brings the pipe in and then out, and then yeah, you can raise it and lower it accordingly, so why you have that on the version that does yeah, that is a bit of a weird one, especially it makes sounds but no thing is actually being functioned, so anyway, it's getting sidetracking that, so Let's put a double application rate down. Pop onto your freshly plowed field. Actually, I'll go over here. We've got a nice new strip we've created mainly for this, but also for the job we're looking at in a bit. So, yeah, there we go. It is putting down an application, not too bad. Put it on a worker. So, actually, I think what we do is put on normal application so there we go worker is underway and again I want to see how it performs once we get to the end of it will it turn around I think for this one it doesn't have an issue with it we do have some vineyards over here so again this could be a realistic obstacle in that this could be a fence this could be a building that so yeah as expected I'm going to go right to the end because of that obstacle which is fair enough that I don't have an issue with. And as we go turn around, see how this worker do. So, all right. So, does it start automatically from? Again, that could be because of how I got things set up. So, if we go to the end over here where we don't have any obstacles, how does it perform then? So, I think we may find another mod that's got a worker issue. So. Alright, no, no, fair enough. It's just because of obstacles and that, so... I won't call it a worker issue now. I think it's just at the end of the day, it's down to... how it's all utilised and that. Or what the... worker is programmed to do when it's attached to X equipment. Because again, I do not use story tanks a lot, because you use a lot of them very quickly. For not much application now, unless you've got thousand cows or something like that, then yeah. So our application does come viable. But anyway, so I'm going to unfold our story distributor. But as you see, if we go to our story tank, we can turn on the tank. But because of how we've got everything set up, not because of that pump there in front, but because we've got a distributor on the back, this ain't going to have an impact. And yeah, that is using it quite quickly, that is. Again, I think that's just down to a story tank thing in general, rather than being a bug or anything, so... So far, so good. So, it should get to the end, and then turn around do the small strip either to the left or to the right. If I had to guess, it would be more to the left. So, yeah, once again, we're at the end. It's continuing on going down, but... Again, it's hesitating when it gets to the end. Again, I, I do have some obstacles, potentially. Maybe or maybe not. So yeah, we've got bells in that, so... Yeah, see, it's pushing the bells in that, so it's not the bells. It's more to do with the... Again, something like this is what a worker will encounter in that, so... Once it gets to the end, it doesn't seem to be having an issue in that, so... Overall, it performs and does the job as expected. Application seems to be normal for a story tanker now so yeah let's get those out of the way so it doesn't impact once it gets to the end so yeah what it should do now is get to the end and then turn around to do this small strip over here which again does have bells and that as an interference or it may turn left what will it do will it turn left or right for the guest turn right thank you worker for not being completely incompetent so yeah, again, I don't think it's a lot of work issue. I think it's just, 
it ha it's very subjective, subjective to what you got around it. So, again, a little thing to know that. But anyway, so it's the Microsoft PN160 by JMZ. Next. For our penultimate machinery, we're going to be looking at the Hilaris Turbo A270V. This is by N0TR3ADY, so I think that is not, no, not ready. <laughs> nice. But anyway, 7.43 megabytes download, 7 slots on console, goes down to 1. And we've got here is a turbo sweeper that is used to help empty your pastures and that because, boy, have we missed, you know, mods and that that can actually let you clean pastures. Doesn't it help, obviously, as a base game in your pastures and that? Yeah, it kind of sucks, it does, to be fair and that, so I will admit to that. Hopefully FS25 changes that. Subscribe to see more on FS25 content. But anyway, so yeah, I've got a large cow pasture here. We've got 100,000 litres of manure that needs to be removed. I am too lazy to pull up with a trader to fill it up. Again, basically, with something like this, you'll come with a bucket in that. Or, this is where the sweeper comes in. So, got a small pile of manure here to the right. But yeah, before we get into you know, more bonkers testing, or just testing in general, you find this under tools and animals. And yeah, 14 grand requires just 40 horsepower. Capacity is 1,490 litres and can actually act as a fill point for pretty much everything else. But we're going to be using this as a muck collector. Weighs 550 kilograms and does it at 2.7 yeah, metres at 8 miles an hour. So I'm not sure why. It, yeah, that bit I'm not too sure, Nat. But yeah, so colours and that, so that's going to be your actual sweeper there at the bottom. So you've got yellow, red, green, blue, orange, and a nice, not a hot pink, but a nice pale normal pink in that. So, I'm guessing, yeah, it says especially developed for heavy tractors where large capacities can be difficult to sweep in the portions. Water sweepers going to be everywhere. Brush rings with diameter of 80 centimeters, galvanized frame, hydraulic. Just won't work in 2.7 meters. So, okay, I knew I made no sense there, but yeah, first of all, we've got raise and lower the sweeper. Turn on. Any sort of seat, you know, just come along, brush along. So, yeah, obviously, you can't use a worker, which makes sense. Any sort of seat, we are collected that manure. And then if you look at our other controls, so L1, left stick, left to right, pivot set. And then to fill and empty, so keep this down when it's you want to fill it. But at a certain point when you raise it, so we'll see there, we're dumping it at the back. Obviously to empty it, you would turn it off in that. But yeah, so let's put this into a real world test. I want to do this in cabinet, so again, Something for you know the realistic player net. Obviously, something like this you'd move for cows or something. Yeah, it's not too realistic, but so let's see. All right, what I'm gonna do is well, one floaty cow. No, first of all, we're gonna actually close the flap. Then yeah, I want to get over there because last thing I want to do is turn and hit our cow barn because it's very expensive. And turn it on. And it'll just back up a little bit more. It was working earlier than that, so. Anyway, there we go. So you drop it down. And then it gently fills it up with that. So yeah, once again, we are filled, so. Come along then. And then out of the cow barn, and then, yeah. Okay, I know I'm not. Really stick out driving in that, very good, I will admit to that. But yeah, you get the general gist of it in that, regardless of my horrendous skills as a driver in that. And there it goes, yeah. Yeah, it does actually work very well. It is a nice, neat a mod. Nice, nice, neat and tidy mod. So, this is something I really like in that. Especially, you know, just the detail in it, like, you know, just like how it just performs in that. I think. Point test the working speed is on most an hour is when you're lowering it and going wrong. But even then, I've got it fully opened. 
fully closed. Can't hire a worker with it, so I'm not sure what it means in the shop description. Again, it could be just a giant kind of thing now, or how they want to feel. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. I don't think it's giant snap. When it says, you know, at certain, certain like miles an hour working speeds, you yeah, you don't do it at that because as I've just seen, you can go at top speed even with it. You know. Uh, that. So yeah, if I lift it this time, what about if I just casually open it a bit? So not one way. That's it. So yeah, you sort of scoop it. I think that's better if you slightly open it, then scoop it in that. So yeah, I know yeah, you know you get your your buckets and that, your just buckets in general. But yeah, I know it's just a modded cow barn, but basically it doesn't let us have fun in that. So. I have to make way with what I got here. But yeah, this is a very good mod. Regardless at the end day, cracking mod that I love this. But anyways, that is a Hilaris Turbo 8270V by Not Ready. Next. Now for our final equipment, we got the Kinsey 4900 Multiplanner Pack. This is by not only Dan Mac Truck921. 14.96 megabytes download, and we've got here is a basically a mod version of the base game Kinsey 4900. But you may think we've already got a mod version of the Kinsey 4900, but this is, does things slightly differently. However, I think I've come across an issue, so I'll get to that in a sec. But anyway, so first of all, slot counts that is 70 slots on console, and you find this under planters, go to the end, so yeah. Got the 4095 base game. And if we have a look at the modded version, so 4900 rather than 4905. But yeah, we have the one option we got as a multi planter, so not just do the normal planter stuff. You can also do it as using wheat, barley, and all that. Obviously, yeah, slot counts is 17 goes down to 1. But yeah, so with this you can have the option to use or not use liquid fertilizer. At the moment, I do recommend having it as a liquid fertilizer option because, yeah, I don't think it works, but I'll test it in a sec. But yeah, anyway, surprise that, same as the base game that. We do have the second version, and that is basically for popular and sugarcane. However, we also got another mod version by Chris S and Roy S, I think this is. Yeah, different versions than that, so. But with this one, it can do it at 15 miles an hour rather than 13 miles an hour. So yeah, I know you obviously have the unrealistic version of that, but regardless. So, I'm not comparing it to the one by Chris S. and Roy S. Yes. But yeah, just there as a show-off, or just showcasing. But anyway, so yeah, looking at what's meant to be compared to, slightly bigger capacity as well. That's for the fertilizer or seeds only extension. Strassy colour, so if we have a look at that, pick a floral green, that's going to change the frame itself. Tank colour is going to change the tank. And because this is about Tracker 921, as you expect, we've got all the colours. Decal colour changes the whole Kinsey colours and that on the side. And then that's so you got your rim colour, so a star orange. So yeah, anyways, there we go. So I think this one's got the seeds. This one's all got seed and fertilizer in that, so... And these are two different models. Now, one's the popular one. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be the same regardless, so... Yeah, first of all, we'll have a look at the one that's got the issue, so... I yeah, press and fold, so it does have a realistic but slow open... You know how it opens in that. Rich markers, you can use them if you wish. But yeah, so if you look at our fertilizer state set, because this is going to be important. Ignore the bit we've done in the double application on just over here. So yeah, drop this down. Let's pick any crop we do. And see, we've got a problem. Look on the bottom right. Seed is going down. Fertilizer ain't. The fact that we've got a fertilizer tank as an option is being completely ignored. Worker in that. 
yep, still in the shooting out with the work and that, so that is not just for, you know, uh, we'll see, corn and that. I'm going to cycle through all the other crops and that. Nope. Soybeans, nope. Sugar beet, nope. Cotton, nope. Yep, wheat, barley, absolutely nothing is working. What I'm going to do is grab the popular version again. It could be just a one more thing, but if I go and grab the popular one and test that. So, right, yeah, going to grab the one that is just for poplars and sugar cane. And again, we're having the same issues of it's not recognizing the fertilizer net. Again, why I do not know. Yeah, it's just been completely ignored in that. And again, proof right here. We've got the fertilizer option and it doesn't work. So, here's why I'm holding this now. First of all, before we get into any other uniqueness or nice stuff about it. It's because at the end of the day, it needs to be updated. It's got a bunch of functionality. So, again, maybe it's, it guarantees something that is going to be a simple fix in the XML file coding or something like that. Again, I'm not a modern app, but something like that, I would guess, is easy enough, or easy-ish, to fix. Again, it could be a nice, simple oversight app. It does happen in that, so again, I'm not bashing or anything, I'm just stating the fact that it does need an update. But regardless, apart from that, it has, it is a nice mod. And the last thing I've got here is, again, if you want something out here, sort of semi really sick, based, based off the base game, but you don't want to do this with, you know, or have the extent of, you know, using a realistic mods and that, or have an unrealistic version of where, you know, you can do that through mods an hour. Yeah, seed usage is quite high, obviously because you're doing this at 50 mods an hour, and, yeah, so let's not forget, this is what, an 18 meter planter, I think this is? Yeah, 14, yeah, uh, 18.2 meters, so... Yeah, it's not high just because it is high in general, it's high because you're doing this fast and wide. So, again, besides from the worker issues, this is a nice quality mod. Can't fault it apart from the worker issue. Once that worker issue is fixed, it's definitely going to be a rival for the one that by Chris S. and Radius. And in the end, it's down to what you want and what you're looking for. This has all the colours in that. And again, just to be fair to Chris S and to Riley S, because yeah, they're also a bunch of modders in that, or modders. So yeah, we've got the multi fruit planter. And yeah, so that does have the colour options, but not as varied. Yeah, you can have espresso brown if you want to, but yeah, compare that to my Matt Trucker 921, where you've got. All, do you want colours? Yes. So yeah, you got your brown in that. Does it have the espresso brown, metallic brown? So yeah, different colours to my um, Chris S and Roy S, but yeah, you got your Capello reds in that. Big Bud 5. And yeah, obviously it's too big for a fact that you can barely see the name down below. Construction yellow. But yeah, at the end of the day, it is a cracking ball in that. Just to use an update in that. But, anyways, actually, first of all, before I go, I want to have a quick test on workers and that, because, yeah, with the other two pieces of equipment we've looked at earlier than that, there were some, or could be worker issues, definitely workers with issues with one and the plow. But what about with this? So, workers on, how does it perform once you get to the end of that? Because, yeah, I know sometimes I do forget about using workers, because... Yeah, simple oversight, and I'll admit that. That's why I'm proving on for my mod reviews, but... Yeah, work gets the end. Just trying to continue on on along, so I'm not sure why it's doing that. Again, it's going to be more of a map thing than anything else, I think, now, because, yeah. There's so many things on this map that is bored, that. So, yeah, it's getting to the end. Bit of a wide turnaround, I'll admit. So, again, it could be a map thing, I'm not sure, net. So, see, workers are just getting itself lined up, so yeah. No problems with the worker in that, but anyways, 
That is the Kinsey 4900 multi-power pack by Matt Trucker 921. Awesome bit of kit. Highly recommended once the you know, highly recommend it if you want to use just as a cedar or that. If you want to use this with the fertilizer, then there's other mods available, or just put fertilizer down yourself. But yeah, something like this. I would hope it doesn't take giants too long to get through testing and fix, but at the moment. Yeah, less I, less I compliment about that, the better that. But anyways, Kinsey 4900 by, sorry, Kinsey 4900 multi-planner pack by Matt Trucker 921. Next. Now for our vehicles, and first of all, of two vehicles we'll be looking at today is the John Deere 6R series. This is by Samu, Appmodin, Leon, and Is Agar. This is 22.37 megabytes to download. Slot count is 22, goes down to 1 or 2 on console, we'll have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, so yeah, another John Deere, John Deere R series tractor you may think, but this offers a bit much more than just power in that, so... Yeah, first of all, we'll find this under vehicles and medium tractors. Go towards the end. Base price is 233,500. 282 French horsepower, CVT transmission. 470 litres in fuel, top speed of 31 miles an hour, it's 9.6 tonnes, and yeah, 22 slots goes down to 1. So yeah, bit of a bigger speed than that, especially for the frame that, compared to other 6R series you may think of than that, or kind of in general than that. So yeah, 280 or 300 horsepower with the 6250R. Wheel brands, yeah, these are going to be pretty much the same, so I'm going to go over all of them. I apologise for my dog barking there in the background. Uh, saw something or whatever in that. But yeah, so yeah, tyres in that. Yeah, gonna be pretty standard in that. D lights, got blue or white, so yeah, it's just gonna be your headlights in that. But also, you got green, white, red in that, so all the different colours in that. Starfire, that's gonna be your GPS, yes or no. More of a aesthetic thing than anything else. Fenders, no or yes, so that's gonna be front fenders. From flashers, no or yes. So yeah, that's gonna be Yeah, the bits there between the headlights and that. So you got five different kinds of front flashers. Different kind of mounts or different amounts. Hard to see between the greyness and that. But yeah, there are there if you can see it. Design, so you got default or corn. And this additional of the corn chaff and that. So yeah, it goes on the hood, on top of the roof net. Obviously, the bit that ain't on is where your panoramic, panoramic roof opens. Bits on the fenders and that. What about the front fenders and that? So if we add the front fenders. So yeah, no thing on the front fenders. Front attachers, no. John Deere, Quickie, or Hoyer. But what this offers as well is the basic base game colour palette option, so if you want, you can make this as a case John Deere net, if you want to be sacrilegious in that. Room colour, go even more sacrilegious by making it a nice hot pink. I think I improved the John Deere tractor there, just by changing the colours in that. But anyway, so yeah, this goes with the base game, 643R, front loader in that, so that's base game. And yeah, compare that to the base game in that, so... 233 grand. And you're looking at the base game John Deere R and that. So yeah, same price in that. Same weight in that. Slot count slightly more in that. But yeah, it just offers the colour options and the corn. So take that as you will now. Again, I'm comparing it to what's based upon. Don't kill don't kill me on that. But yeah, I've got the corn add-on. Because the corn can be add on and removed on the tractor that so if I open my help menu L1 and yeah so that was it open and close the cover so L1 left stick open and close the cover in that so that is nice to see that so it's so not stuck on it no we're interactive no, so for the like, roof snap which sometimes it actually can be quite good now because I think sometimes it can get carried away with all the animations and that Go through all the different sub beams and that, so lights. So yeah, so obviously we've got the blue daytime run lights. And yeah, these front flashers, it's gonna be where you have the beacon, so 
we sort of five different kind of options, such as the positionings and all that, so obviously I've got all of the beacons and that. But yeah, indicators, beacons on the back. So yeah, obviously I've got this fit with Dooney Twins, because what else? That is a nice sound to it. Yes, it got a nice sound to it. Has a bit of a get up and go. You know, in the camera, you know, going left to right, mirrors, they work, no flickeriness with the mirrors and that. Which is always good to see. But yeah, I know I'm not done this for a while for my mod reviews and that, because, again, getting swamped with just videos I want to do that, or again, I think at the moment I got three videos waiting to come out, just need to get my ass around to getting it all done, but, well, shoot. Was that a flicker mirror we just had there? I'm not sure of that. Yeah, it's really the jump now, but... Have you got to top speed? Nope, so... Yeah, hey. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't expect to go far on that, because it is a heavy tractor, you know, what, 10 tons and that, so... But yeah, overall, performs well on that. Yeah, actually it performs very good. Again, I've got doing BKTs and that because BKTs are the best tires to use in the game because you do have better grip than that compared to other tires. Yes, okay, not much, but as we're seeing there, I love how the axle swivels next. Automatic braking, love jubbly as always. So yeah, this is a good quality mod. Nice, well done. Definitely better than the base game, just because of the like, front flashers and that. Yeah, actually, yeah, performs very well, doesn't tip over and that. Again, yeah, maybe because I've got the dudes and that. But anyways, that is the John Deere 6 R series by Samuel Appenmodin and Leon Is Agar. Next. On to our final mod of the day, we got the Class Ducano 550 and 580 pack. This is by Carl Rome. 13.49 megabytes of download, so count is 21 for the combine, 8 for the header, and 3 for the header trailer. So this all comes in as one pack. So yeah, first of all, finders under harvesters, harvester headers, and header trailers respectively. So yeah, we've got the Chicago 550, 580. Basically wise, yeah, there's really nothing to compare it to. Now, 381 horsepower that it's got, so... Really comparing it to like the John Deere and the New Holland there, so actually it is a sort of, again the Tron and that may be a bit different than that, but again I'll be nitpicky on that. But anyways, I'll get ahead of myself. 208 grand capacity is 9,000 for the 550 or 11,000 for the 580 version. CVT transmission 313 to 381 horsepower, 650 liters of fuel. Drum speed 50 miles an hour and a weighs 50.4 tons. And if you go into our combination, so yeah, obviously you got the class choreos and that you can use now if you wish. Interestingly, it's shown as a compatible with that. That I am gonna have to test that as of interest. Because yeah, the class choreo that that is I think actually I am gonna say that. So yeah, six meter again I get as a base entry net. But the 9, nine meter, that's, yeah, that's for the next game than that, so that's what I'm going to test. But back onto the harvester itself, so yeah, 550, 560, 570, and 580. So yeah, as that shows, also 10,000 years for the 560, sorry, 570. So yeah, 9,000 for the 550 and 560. 570 is 10,000 years, I do apologize for that, and 580 for the. 11,000 liters. Wheel branch, trailer board, standards, wides, back standards, British lines, Continentals, Michelin's, trailer board, and uh, so on. Cab air freshener, so yeah, we've got version of 1s to 10, so yeah, just different kind of colours. You know, like kind of like the U green kind of. I should know, it's not you green. What am I thinking about? It's the uh, electronic brand. Uh, the leafy air fresh, air fresh you get in your cars. 
maybe it's a UK thing, but yeah, like the point point cone or point green air freshener. That is very reminiscent of the UK, so things like, yeah, blue, green I've had in my cars, or my family car growing up, red wasn't as often. But also you got the American flag, UK flag air freshener, French, Ukraine, yeah, fair enough, Poland, Germany, Italy, and then yeah, two normal ones. Smartphone, no, or yes, so you can see on the right there on the dash. Carpet, no, yes, or with with or without the class logo. Numbering is 1 through to 10. Not too bad. Collector's decal's got no. Design 1, Design 2, Design 3, Design 4, Design 5, or none. So actually that, I quite like that, you know, the different kind of decals. And it the different versions than that, you know, that I do like in that. Tinder windows, you've got design 1, design 2, main colour, so yeah, this could be a class green, or if you want to go all black out, you can. Room colour, so you got red, greyish, grey and white, I think. Yeah, or black out in that, or the class green in that. And then yeah, also got your base game colour palettes and that. So actually, that, that looks pretty slick, that does. I'll use that to test the corn header and that. But yeah, also yeah, you got your headers and that, so, or header. Not headers, header, plural. Seeing they're not plural, so, there we go. Main colour, just going to change that, the actual colour to green, class green or blackout. For your header trailer, it's going to be exactly the same. Also, with the header net, when you put it on, if it's slightly wonky, slightly off, it will snap on that. So, before we look at any of those net, so see there, I've got the blue air freshener net. See, I think that was like icy blue net, or ice breeze net. So, so see that, header is attached. So, yeah, this is what I mean. So, for example, you know. So you want to that. I think that's a bit too much. Oh no, no, no. That should goes on quite well. Also, yeah, you got the, this bit's on the end that folds and unfolds. What's that, like a light, I think it is, or a sensor net? Not sure exactly, but anyway, so... I'm going to drop the header a sec, because... First of all, let's go over the combine net, so... Beacons... Just the one at the front. Indicators, left, right. Lights, yes and no. So yeah, different kind of lights, so yeah, different amount of lights, so that's all at the front. Then you got the additional lights at the rear, include on the over as well. That's actually very nice in that. So automatically I've got an option to fold the steering base. And it's up and down, so... I think that's meant to be L1, then left stick, up and down. Not, I think, because there's so many different kind of configurations in there, or different controls in that, can't fit it all onto one page now, which is fair enough. But yeah, anyway, so first of all, go, yeah, L1, right stick, up and down, does that. Left to right, folds the display that. Then right stick, left to right, toggles the different kind of modes in that, or screws that on the dash. It doesn't do anything on the GPS. It doesn't do anything on the phone, fair enough. Uh, yeah, pipe out, swap from that, yes or no. Fold and unfold. See, so yeah, it screws the ladder in that. And actually that is very quick as well, actually. <laughs> L1, R1, so... I think this is going to be out of sight now, so L1, R1. Ah, right, it does see case of the cover down the site. Fair enough. Right stick, left to right. Does that one there, fair enough. Ah, right, so fair enough, I've got your show seal visor, so that's L1, R1, right stick, up and down. Right stick, 
up and down does the door fair enough then left stick adjusts the seat forward and back and then yeah R1 right stick left to right does the right door ah fair enough not too bad that how about when we have the header attached so obviously I'm getting the S1 app so yeah, L1, right stick, up and down raises, and they'll receive head on that. But yeah, besides from that, I can't think of anything else looking at adjusting. But yeah, also you can adjust the header in and out like that. But obviously I'm using the Logitech side panel that only works on PS4 and... Well, PS4, PS4 Pro, and PC and that. But yeah, I'm not sure what that's meant to be in that because yes, if I do L1, L1 right stick coming down does that. Using left stick, nothing. L1, R1, nothing. And then R1, yeah. Obviously, the left stick does the steering in that, but yeah, not too sure on that. But anyway, so first of all, let's test the combine and header we've got here. I then want to do is because it says a, it's compatible with the basically the Lexian corn header net. I'm gonna give that a go, net. But anyways, we're unfolding that and ready to go in the field. Oh, you yeah, can't get canoe straw net. Fair enough. Forgot about that. But yeah, so far so good. Nice animations. Now, they ain't too loud, especially in the cabinet. And too far, even outside the cab, ain't that loud in that. No, it does the job very well in that. Can fault it. And yeah, we get to the end. Again, also test workers. I guess we've had a couple of issues with workers with one or two of the mods today. So what do my do uh, do did Diligence. So, there we go. Set to work on that. How does it form when it gets to the end? I'm assuming there's going to be no issues in that. Gets to the end. And there we go. Yep, see the how it should work on that. But now, so I'm going to go with this one here. And get this one into the field. So, yes, I'm going to test the corn header because it shows as a compatible that. So... Fair enough. Who am I to say otherwise? And yeah, 9, nine meters at 6 miles an hour, and yeah, does not a problem whatsoever. So, if you can use 9 meter corn header, depending on what map you're on, because yeah, things like the new Geek Head map and that, the Scottish map, 9 meters you're very much pushing in at. I think 8 and a half meters ain't too bad, but sort of seeing now, yeah, not a problem. We're doing corn decent rate in that, having no issues in that, so definitely a nice more net, so but yeah, that is all the mods for today, and overall that, not too bad, nice selection of that, again, mods are going to become very few and far between, I think, especially you know, with FS25 coming out very soon, because yeah, we're what, one, two, three weeks away from FS25 coming out on that, so yep, I know I think with FS19 mods were stopped around Christmas now, or just after I think it was, because when Giants goes away for the Christmas now, or break away from Christmas and that I think like, with 19 they stopped after, yeah, after Christmas or just before but I'm sure we still have some mods now, because especially if there's anything like, you know Game breaking issues or whatever that with FS25 and that, which I do think there is, I very much doubt it's going to be because this game has took him three years to make that or two years, whatever. Rather than the game that's having to come out every year and that, so I think there are going to be too many issues with FS25, but anyways. Apart from, you know, some mods that needs an update with, you know, worker issues, doesn't let you fer fertilize your fields and that for whatever reason and that. But anyways, as always, Hope you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash that button, click the down below. If you want to share us, please remember guest. If you're not subscribed to channel yet, then please consider 
but I'm very to do. Hope you nice day. Bye for now. Speed Farmer, Ever Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.